Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Um, this is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, this may be a reading for you. All of these readings, all of these readings are timeless. Um, so, you know, they, they could have done hit for some of you. They may hit for some of you years down the road. For some of you, it may be now. Um, yeah, so I would definitely, you know, not put an emphasis on date as far as a reading. You know, if you feel drawn to it, there's a reason. Or if you um, feel drawn to the name, there's a reason. And, um, yeah, just saying. Um, I had someone comment um, just the other day that a, a reading I did a year ago was actually happening in their life now. So, yeah. Okay, what we're going to look at is I want to know um, what are your strengths? Strengths. Strengths. For Aquarius, please. Aquarius is strengths. May I have one more? Strengths. Yes, thank you. Okay. Aquarius is weaknesses. Aquarius is weaknesses. May I have one more? Thank you. Uh, we got several there. Um, I am going to take them though. Okay, your weaknesses. Where you have strengths at is um, optimum innovation. You're very innovative. You, you, you know, you want to live. You, you want transition and liber liberation there again. Um, it's like you, you really, you know, you want, you need to put forward what you need to do and you know, as far as transition, you need to let things, it's like you need to flow with things. You need to let them flow. You need to let them take place. And you need to be in that spot of feeling uh, liberated. Um, it's like you have that desire, that want, but it's, it's this is a feeling of, um, oh my God, this is strength. Hmm. You see, I was seeing this as weaknesses. For someone, this is weaknesses. Okay. I read this as strengths. So you're very innovative. And, um, who, you know, for those of you that this is your strengths, as far as transition, it's like you are flowing into that space that you need to be. That, that spot of liberation feeling liberated in what you are doing. Okay, now, for weaknesses, we got the World Fulfillment Celebration. So, you put a lot of, um, it feels like, thought into wanting that fulfillment uh, where you need to just give it to the universe. You need to um, manifest it, you know, say it, feel it, um, give it, and, you know, celebrate life, um, blessings, well-being, you know, be grateful for what you have, give them wants and them desires, uh, then we have action and focus, that means take action in your life and focus on what you need to focus on now, while you manifest what you want, that's what that feels like, yeah, high priestess, uh, follow your intuition, um, you know, and, and we got sacred knowledge here. You have so much within you. You just, it's like you have this desire for this fulfillment, you know, for this celebration to come about in your life when you already have so much to be celebrated. Um, you just aren't seeing it because you have this desire for what you want, whether this is a relationship. I feel like for many of you, it is a relationship, one that's fulfilling. Um, or whether this is uh, work-related, you know, as far as uh, stability or bringing in abundance, you know, prosperity. Um, yeah, you have a lot of knowledge within you, and it's like, um, 
as far as a weakness, you know, it's not following your intuition the way you should. Not being able to hear that little voice of knowledge within you because you're not, it's like you need to be still. You know, stop pushing for that fulfillment. Uh, feel it's going to happen. Have faith. Um, be grateful for what you have. Live in the moment. And um, really stop, you know, just be still. Be still. That's what I'm getting. Um, so, that's pretty heavy there. Strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Now, what else do we need to know for Aquarius? What else do we need to know for Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius. For Aquarius. What's that message? Okay. See, this is about a relationship. This is about someone wanting a relationship. They want a relationship. And it's like they're... For some, they're being offered a relationship and they're looking at the past. For some of you, you are offering yourself up and it's like, it's almost like you're not seen. It's like you offer yourself up, you know, I'm here, I'm here, I want this relationship, you know, I'm willing to do this, I'm willing to do that, I'm willing to give. And it's like they just are blind to you. It's that type of feeling. It's on the bottom. Yep. And it's like they, you know, they're here, then they're gone. So it, it's a feeling like, you know, this is not, this is pushing. This is not uh, flowing. Um, in other words, trying to control. Uh, you know, you're you're offering up. Um, it's, this is a feeling like the universe wants you to know, hey, let them come to you. Let them offer to you. Let them, you know, yeah, that's what this is. Because someone is offering up themselves and someone just you know it's like people just walk away walk away it's like it's almost like they are um it's a player energy and it hurts this person you know it breaks their heart because it's like people come in and they go and they just you know they have no respect for them that's what that feels like that's that's what i'm getting from that that's not a good feeling at all yeah see and whoever this is in this spot, it puts them in their head. It, it's like, you know, they feel like, what, what's wrong with them? Why do people come and go? Because they're players. Because they have no intention of having a relationship to begin with you. With you, you know. Um, you know, I watched a, um, I actually watched a little video earlier. I can't remember her name. But um, I think she's like a relationship coach or something or another. And it was very interesting. Um, I was drawn to it. Um, it was actually her and her new fiancé, which were at a distance from one another. They met online or something like that. Um, but, you know, what she pointed out was that she did not have to feel anxious at any point you know, in getting to know him or becoming in a relationship with him or throughout their relationship. And he pointed out the same. There was no wondering. There was no second guessing. There was no, um, you know, well, they don't give me the time of day or um, why don't they give back what, you know, I'm giving, um, you know, or say if you like someone's, stuff on social media and they ignore you none of that you know and they pointed out that there wasn't that lack of anxiety you know and it, it just it just flowed so this right here 
is not good. This is in your head, and it's time to, you know, let them come to you. Yeah. Let them show you, because you should not be put in that position over and over again by players, by deceitful people who want to just take from you, take from you. You know, this could be um, taking your energy. It could be just taking your time. It could be taking more. You know, it could be actually uh, wooing you to the point of thinking, oh, this is going somewhere, and then bam, they're gone. They pick up and they leave. It's deceitfulness. Um, yeah. Heavy reading here. Very. You're the magician. You don't have time. You're the magician for that. Drama from um, an, a person that does not want the same thing that you want. You know, manifest what you want because it's clear that you want something real and you don't want to be in this spot right here. Okay, yes. Okay, future person. Mm hmm. Didn't see that coming. So, future person. Show me the future person. Who is the future person? May we see the future person, the person on the path. The person on the path. See there? Right there. Right there. I want you to look. Got the world card. The ending of this way of doing things. The ending of being in your head. The ending of letting people, because this is for this is for whomever. You know, women do this do this to men too as well. It goes both ways. Uh, you have players on both sides of the field. Yeah. So whenever this is ended, there's a beginning. You know. World card ending beginning and look look at her she's holding herself with grace and elegance because she she knows that you know she put forth what she needed to put forth she's done what she needed to do things are flowing flowing see she's been you know and I say she because there's a woman on there but you know, the person, it's like once they start putting effort towards themselves, you know, working on what they need to work on, whether that's pentacles, whether that's yourself, whether that's home life, whether that's creativity, whatever it is, you know, that's when you can see it coming. Page of Pentacles. Get ready for it. That's when it's coming. That's when they come in. Tell me about this person. The person. The person coming. May we see. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here again? See, there's the Three of Swords again. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, see, it's like we got this Three of Swords again. You know, that's hurt, that's pain. The death, the ending of that cycle. Being in pain, you know, letting others put you in that spot. Finding your happiness with the 
three of chalices. Getting out of your head. Stop letting things drive you batty. Drive you up the wall. Look at those crows. Oh my goodness, it's driving her up the wall. And go into this quietness of the high priestess. The stillness. Yeah. And that is when this person comes along. Okay. The person. May we know about the person. Because that's what I was initially wanting to know. And I was getting more about it felt like you. Okay. Okay, this person has a lot of love to offer, Lick. They're taking on the Queen of Chalices. Uh, does not have to be a female. This is just an energy. They have that cup. They've been holding their love back for the right one. Two of Cups. Eight of Swords. They really want to work on this. They want this to grow. They're going to want this to blossom into something. But this person... This person that's coming has also dealt with being hurt, being taken advantage of, being stabbed in the back, and endings. Now, for some of you, this person has actually lost a person to death. Yes, for some of you, not for all of you. For some of you, this is them, you know, they have, they have been hurt, but they've laid that to rest and they're ready they're ready to move forward towards this new beginning. Towards this beautiful, what? <laughs> new beginning. Four of Wands on the bottom. Wow. Four of Wands on the bottom of that one. They want to work on this relationship. They want to put in the effort. Go the distance. They want to walk this, walk this path with you. Walk this path. Follow their intuition with you. Uh, it, it's beautiful. This year is beautiful. Once you take control of the mind and, you know, patterns and, yes. Time to go. It is time to change the way you look at things. It's time to take this forward. It's time to get past this fork in the road. This time. That's beautiful. Um, they want me to do an extended on this. I'm going to take some romance angels. Um, look a little bit deeper into the two people. So... Uh, if you want to join me for the extended, the link will be below in the description box. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Bye.